What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, testing negative for the viruses, and having a great day so far. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update for Thursday, October 30th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, hey, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update to keep you informed on all the viruses that can make us sick. Want to stay informed? Just subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Already, we do have several news stories and pieces of data to take a look at today, starting off with this one, which I think is a big story. Some acute and chronic viral infections may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Yes, you heard me right. A review of 155 scientific studies found influenza and COVID infections raised the risk of heart attack or stroke as much as three to five fold. Yes, in the weeks following the initial infection. Ah, uh, that is serious. And we've been seeing, especially now that COVID's in a mix for the last several years, we've been seeing increased numbers of heart attacks. Uh, this is not good. We do have some effective tools that work to lower infections, clean air and masking. It's as simple as that. If we did more clean air and masking, guess what? We would lower the number of infections that we're seeing. And this would not be as big of an issue, but here we are. Yes, it is a uh, big issue. These viruses, they can linger in your body beyond you feeling sick and can lead to different problems. Well, here's something that's not helping things. International air travel, especially packed flights, fueled flu COVID-19 spread during pandemic, researchers say. I hate that phrase, during, because you know what? As of right now, we're still during all these different viruses. I mean, COVID's year-round. Flu, in some cases, is starting to be year-round highest in the winter. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, these uh, viruses, they are such a big problem. And when we talk about crowded places such as airports, we're going to be doing that here in the United States in November. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, just a few weeks away. Can you believe it? Tomorrow's Halloween, then we look towards Thanksgiving, then we look towards Christmas. Uh, travel season, you know, the travel season for the holidays, it's coming. We're going to be talking about crowded airports, and when you're talking about crowded airports, people are close together, and when people are close together, these viruses really like that, and they really start to spread. So it's something we're going to be keeping our eyes on. Moving on to this. Uh, New South Wales Respiratory Surveillance Report Week Ending, October 25th, 2025. Yeah, the COVID positivity rate, 2.9%. It went up slightly by 0.5%. Number of laboratories reporting COVID, 2 out of 4. COVID cases, 599. Hey, that's down by 7.6%. Influenza, 2,176. That's down by 2.2%. 2 .2%. RSV, 461. Hey, that's down by 6.5%. All right, taking a look at what's going on with the variant picture there, PE.1, let me repeat this, PE1.4 is now at 43% of the cases. That variant has been increasing, could also be why their positivity rate has gone up slightly. I think it's something we're going to have to continue to watch. Uh, NB.1.8.1 is now at 25% of the estimated cases, XFG. Just makes up 22%. Still, it's up there. It's still double digits, but PE.1.4. Again, something we're going to have to continue to watch. And take a look at this. Wastewater is down in all four regions. So that's a new subvariant is really not having a big impact just yet. All right, now I have to show this to you. And this is uh, from uh, Living Safely with COVID. COVID is airborne. In New Zealand, the BA.3.2 subvariant is now being detected in some New Zealand wastewater. Um, it's showing up in really high levels. Uh, it's only 3.2%, but again, it is now showing up in New Zealand. So I thought I would bring that to your attention. California reports its first bird flu outbreak of the 2025 2026 winter season detected in Petaluma, California. Now, you may be thinking, wait, first, there was a lot in the earlier in the season. Yes, there were, but that was 2024, 2025. Now we are 2025, 2026. So, yeah, bird flu, it's showing back up in California. Once again, a facility is showing positive tests at a duck farm. So, 
Yeah, unfortunately, not a good thing. Speaking of flu and the first, uh, we do have more flu deaths. Uh, Spokane County, Washington confirms its first flu-related death of the season. Yeah, here we go. It's that time of year again. I know. We're going to be doing this. Uh, we're going to have all these stories talking about the increase in flu deaths. Pretty soon we're going to be talking about it in children. Oh, it's so sad, but it's that time of year. State reports second flu death of the season. Which state would that be? North Carolina, of course. North Carolina is now up to its second death. So we can pencil in North Carolina, Washington, and Indiana having flu deaths already. Not surprising, but it's just a sign of the times, and you need to be informed of that. Speaking of flu, take a look at this positivity rate in the UK. Yeah, look at that. It's continuing to go up. It's now up to 9.1%, so it says, and we will continue to go down here. The number of cases are also starting to go up. And we can see here that this rise was in all age groups, ages 5 to 14. Wow, 28.66% positivity rate there for that. Uh, that's relatively concerning that it's just, it's just almost going vertical, almost straight up at this point. That is not a good thing whatsoever. Uh, RSV, also some bad news there. RSV is now up to 2.43% positivity rate. Just to put that into perspective, last year they peaked at 15.81%, and today's update is as of October 20th, 2.43, and we can see here, last year, they were a little bit higher than that at this point for RSV, so maybe they're going to track lower this year, at least for RSV, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, COVID, some good news there. Uh, weekly cases, they're still dropping at this point, and the positivity rate um, where is that? Let's uh, scroll down there. The positivity rate at this point is also still dropping. 7.51% showing up there. Uh, deaths are still elevated at this point. 154 deaths reported. Uh, 2,156 cases, if that is the most recent number. And it looks like these numbers here, they may be behind. So stay tuned. I'm going to refresh this again later in the day, see if there's another update. Speaking of updates, let's take a look at what's going on in Canada. COVID-19 viral activity level is moderate. Flu A is low. Flu B not detected. RSV is moderate at this time. Let's take a look at what's going on with the migration of birds in the United States, shall we? And we can see here that uh, you'll be surprised. It's still in the upper millions. It's still in the hundreds of millions. Take a look at that. Yeah, almost. No, it does go over 200 millions. And the planes, that's where we're seeing the biggest... Uh, volume. Generally, the central plains, portions of the Midwest, portions of Illinois, that's a little bit more to the east of the plains, but Texas is included, so that's the southern plains. And we can see just light volume in the west, light volume in the east. I think we're past peak at this point. Taking a look at what's going on with the air qualities in the United States, while we wait for that, let's pause for a hydration break, shall we? The Pacific Northwest, still dealing with bad air qualities. As is California, uh, wildfires are still a thing that's going to extend itself into November at this point. Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, some of these states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, still some bad air qualities for you. I wouldn't pay too much attention to what's going on in the east. There's a big rainstorm going on. That may be messing up some of these censures. All right, taking a look, if you did not see yesterday the measles update, 1,648 confirmed cases of measles in the United States is the update for this week. Pinellas County, Florida. Take a look at this. We are seeing sick person, chest pain, and a whole bunch of respiratory, or yeah, respiratory breathing difficulty. Yeah, a whole bunch of things going on there. General mixture of calls. Uh, taking a look at what's going on in Philadelphia, 681 EMS calls reported on Wednesday, October 29th. I hope to potentially have an update on what's going on with the respiratory viruses in Philadelphia tomorrow. Maybe flu. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to update this week or not. Montgomery County. Just a whole bunch of calls right now. Up to 15. Respiratory emergency. Stroke. A cardiac emergency. I've been seeing stroke and cardiac emergency a lot today. Chester County has been busy with that. I don't know. Is that still the case? Yeah. Heart problem. Sick person. A fall. Sick person. Again, sick. Yeah. A lot of calls going on in Chester County right now. That's not good to see. Of course, you are seeing some of these other incidents pop up in the traffic department. We're having a big storm here. It's our biggest rainstorm that we've seen in two months, I want to say since August. I mean, I'm over an inch of rain here, so flooding and stuff like that is showing up on these cats today. Uh, 
EMS incidents here in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Yeah, there's eight of them right now, and we are seeing, yet again, ooh, cardiac arrest. That's not a good thing to see show up whatsoever. Hospital situation in Pennsylvania, really doing good right now, so we're not going to spend much time on that. New Jersey does have a few places dealing with problems today. Nothing major at this time. New York State has not updated yet from yesterday. We'll get that later in the day. We'll include that in the Friday virus update. I do want to show you some wastewater data before we get to some data from CJS. This is important to take a look at. And you might be wondering, why do I have Ottawa, Iowa? I hope I said that correctly. Correctly. Uh, why do I have that selected? Well, in Ottawa, Iowa, take a look at this. Oh, there it is. Influenza A is now listed high end. Yeah, it's been on a pretty big increase since the start of October. So that's what we're looking for here. Wastewater sites that are starting to show higher influenza numbers, and we're starting to see that. COVID is not doing bad here. EVD68 is also showing up high, but mind you, that has dropped. Norovirus, eh, it was dropping. Most recent updates up a little bit, but again, we're looking to see where these hot spots pop up, and eventually we're just going to see medium, high. We're going to see this whole map start to fill up with uh, influenza, RSV, hotspots as time goes on. RSV, not terribly concerning right now. That is some good news. Let's also take a look at what's going on with the nationwide uh, COVID levels. Again, just medium in the Midwest, medium in the Northeast, low in the South, and low on the West Coast. Let's go out to somewhere in the West Coast, shall we? Let's see what's going on in Sacramento, California. And there we do see COVID levels. They're low. They're dropping. That's really good news at this time. Norovirus is listed at high at this time. Also, look at all these hepatitis detections. That's not good. And we did have, uh, back in September, Mbox Clay 2 was detected at this wastewater site. And, you know, since we talked about North Carolina having flu death, again, let's go to Kinston, uh, North Carolina, just to see what's going on. And in Kinston, North Carolina, we do have COVID listed at high, and it is rising at this time. Norovirus is also... Uh, in the medium at this time. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. But again, uh, COVID there rising once again. That's not good. Today being October 30th, tomorrow's uh, October 31st. Just a couple quick tips here for Halloween, which I did not uh, plan. I'll probably do this again tomorrow. First off, if you're giving out candy, consider leaving a bowl outside. Or if you want to go as a doctor, it's actually easy to do that. Just wear a mask when you're giving out candy. Um... If you're someone that's going to be taking a kid around trick-or-treating, try and avoid the houses that may have lines. Maybe you have a neighborhood. It's a big neighborhood. A lot of kids. And you see a house with a line, skip over that house. Go to a less crowded house. Of course, if you see someone who looks visibly sick, avoid that as well. All right. We're going to end today on some data from CJS83172. Last week's COVID counts. Uh, Florida, October 18th through the 21st. Uh, 1,497 cases and... 55 state reported deaths. New York, 2,878 cases and 18 reported deaths. Puerto Rico, this is, again, this is last week's numbers, 479 cases and 3 state reported deaths. Arizona, 545 new cases. California, 2,098 new positive tests and 47 new state reported deaths. Los Angeles County, 11 deaths. Orange County, 5 new deaths. San Diego, 60 hospitalizations, and three new locally reported deaths. Santa Clara County, two locally reported deaths. San Francisco, two locally reported deaths. Connecticut, 396 new cases. Delaware, 245 new cases. Indiana, two-week update, uh, 1,087 new cases and eight new state reported deaths in recent weeks. Kentucky, 352 new cases and four new state reported deaths, all from October. Louisiana, 514 emergency department visits, a test case positivity rate of 2.5%, and three state reported deaths. Maryland, 340 new cases and seven new state reported deaths. Massachusetts, a net of 561 new cases and eight new state reported deaths. Michigan, 105 state reported hospitalizations. Minnesota, 424 new cases and four new state reported deaths. New Jersey, 2,455 new cases, including reported cases from the prior week, and seven new state reported deaths. New Mexico, 277 new cases. North Carolina, 
Even in a law, 322 hospital visits for COVID-like illness, you saw Kinston, North Carolina, the wastewater there was going up. Uh, Oklahoma, weekly update, 192 new positive tests. Texas, weekly, 761 new cases. Uh, West Virginia, 179 new positive tests. I wish we had more data for states like West Virginia, New Mexico, Arizona. We just don't. Wisconsin, weekly, delayed until early this week, 229 new positive tests. And I do want to go back to this once again. Um, some acute and chronic viral infections may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Uh, yeah, well, if we just lowered the number of infections by doing things to make things safer, we wouldn't have this much of a problem. There wouldn't be so many people dealing with this issue because less people would have been infected in the first place. Alrighty, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe and have a fantastic Thursday afternoon, and thanks for watching.